you got to focus on this is insane <laughs> whether it's the r7 or the r5 it's amazing This started, this video started at King Gillette yesterday with my Canon. Look at that. 70 to 200. This is such an amazing lens, and I have it on the R5. And I'm out today. I came out for more Cabbage Whites because I was shooting them yesterday. And that's what that video was about. But I've captured so many other butterflies. I'm just blown away, man. Check these out. And just as a tip, what I've found is that a lot of lenses, when they're up at their minimum focus distance or really close to it, other than that 100 to 500, they struggle a little bit with focus. And that's okay. I know that. So I'm constantly adjusting my focus to get it into the right spot and then hit autofocus and it locks on. Canon locks on. The Sony was locking on too, and that was pretty doggone cool. Cabbage white, and that's what I'm here to shoot. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. That was, that was it. <laughs> I was right at the, that minimum focus distance and you have to step back until it comes in then hit the autofocus and it locks on. Absolutely amazing. Let's go back to some other photos. The other thing is if you can get your subject hanging off of a flower, the bokeh behind it just becomes an obliterated background. It's beautiful. It makes your subject really jump out. And you can do that in editing, but you have to do it on the computer. Your phone, I don't think that works. And you have to be quick too because they don't stay around very long.
New tech, man. Can't beat it. We'll see ya.